So today's video is all about getting back into street photography because in some point in time we all need to take a break and that's perfectly okay. So during the holidays I did take a bit of a break but at the same time I was prepping and preparing um, these videos for Chicago and I must say the universe is definitely on my side for this one because I came back with a lot of content. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys hit that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you are new and uh, yeah, let's get into the video. And I did get a bit rusty going back into shooting, but that's okay. We all work at our own pace. But I definitely want to get back into the idea of doing street photography. Now, when you take a break from photography, and if it's for a longer period of time, for whatever the reason, it's as if you have to retrain your eyes again because of that long break. That's why I believe that warming up is a common fundamental for all photographers, whatever level of experience you may have. So in this video, this was my first day back in Chicago, and the one thing I wanted to keep in mind is that I wanted to go into this with little to no expectations. If I come away with just three to five good photo compositions, then to me, that would be a very successful shoot. It's a great thing to shoot with no expectations because we all can't predict that you're going to capture a great shot every single time. In my opinion, I feel like this is the best approach when getting back into street photography. I always tell myself whenever I do street photography is that don't focus on the rule of thirds always shoot manual and take every single photo that catches my eye. Whether it's a good or bad photo, take the shot anyways. Because who knows, what you may have taken might be a really great shot. Doing this method is more of a psychological trick to the brain. So when it comes to street photography, when to understand that setting plays a huge role. And I'm not talking about your camera settings, but rather the location you're shooting at. When getting back into street photography, it's very common to be going to a location that you're so used to going to and i'm not saying that's a bad thing but it can lead to feeling uninspired and all that leads to the setting of where you're shooting at to me being a street photographer is more than just understanding your exposure triangles compositions and lighting but to explore the unknown, to tell a story of a city or a small town that no one knew existed. So it's always important that you explore these curiosities, but at the same time, making sure that you're safe in the process and find those tight shots you never knew you could capture. You know, I've been to Chicago so many times and there are parts of the city that I haven't explored yet. And I gotta say, I was really surprised of just taking that extra further of just walking an extra block up or an extra block down. And I've caught a lot of great photos. And if you haven't followed my Instagram, I'll link it down below in the description, check them out. I took a lot of great shots and they're pretty amazing. So I'm gonna wrap this up. 
Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of this video and I hope you found some inspiration for you to go out and get back into doing photography. But before I go, I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you guys to go ahead and leave a like down below for the YouTube algorithm. Also comment any tips you may wanna share with everybody else in the community. I'm pretty sure that we have more tips and tricks on matters like this. And yeah, I just wanna keep the conversation going. And finally, subscribe to the channel because it does help me a whole lot when you guys subscribe to the channel. And I will have more in-depth Chicago street photography coming in the next couple of weeks. The next one you don't want to miss. So make sure you guys subscribe to it and also hit that set that bell notification down below too so you'll be notified when it goes up live. Your support on this channel means so much to me and I have love and appreciate every single one of you guys. But until next time, keep shooting.